Today, we're going to go over the early college admissions application. The first step is to go to our main website, chattanoogastate.edu. <clears throat> if you want information about early college, you can click here. This is our early college main web page. But today, we're going to do the application. So you can click admissions because you want to apply for admission to Chattanooga State. Once you're on the admissions webpage, there's lots of information about being admitted to Chattanooga State. You are a high school dual enrollment student. So this is the type of student that you are. So now that we're ready to apply, we're going to hit apply now. Once you're on this page, you're going to click apply for admission. The first step is to create an account since you are a new user. You will click create an account. It's important that you read these directions to create an account that matches all the specifications so you don't get an error. The login ID must be nine letters or numbers. I'm picking Wildcat 21 because that is the mascot for my high school. Now create a pin. The pin must be only six numbers. It can be any six numbers that you want it to be. Now I am going to write down my login information in case I need to come back. Now I'm going to click that I'm not a robot and click login. Now that we're inside the application, you can see there's lots of different colored blocks here explaining what type of student you are. We are dual enrollment early college student. So we're gonna keep scrolling down and click on application type, dual enrollment early college and hit continue. The admissions term is the term that you will start your college class. Because I'm starting a college class at my high school in August, I'm picking fall credit term 2021. Now I'm gonna put my first name in here. And my last name. <clears throat> and click fill out application. Now I'm here at the application checklist. As you can see, there's some links and phone numbers and emails. If you run into any trouble, we're here to help you. These are the items that we'll need to check off of our checklist to finish the application. So, starting with name. Part of my name is already filled in. So I'm gonna finish filling out the fields with a red asterisk. I don't have a middle name, so I'm leaving that blank. I don't have a suffix, so I'm leaving that blank as well. And then I'm going to hit continue. Next, I'm going to fill in my street address. <clears throat> this automatically filled it in because I've already used this address before, so it's important to check and make sure that this is all correct if it automatically fills in. If at any point you get stuck, you can always return to checklist. As you can see, once I finish a section, a red check mark appears beside the field. Next, I'm on to personal information. This is very important. Please be sure that your social security number is correct. If you put in a social security number that is not correct, then we will have problems um, when we try to use your financial aid to pay for this course. So put in your social security number. I am just going to make one up here. Citizenship. There's lots of um, options here. If you were born in the United States, you are a US citizen. Um, or you may have gained citizenship um, if you came here after you were born, but you should know what your um, 
citizenship is here. If you've lived in Tennessee for the past year, you want to say yes. If you have not, then you'll want to say where you have lived or why you moved here. So move here this year for work. Now we're going to put in our email address. So it's important that this is your personal email. Don't use your school email because if you use your school email, it will cause problems because there might be a firewall. We would like everyone to put their uh, phone number in here. This helps us if we have any problems. Uh, we can we can give you a call to get things sorted out. As you can see, uh, you need the numbers here as the, the area code 423 is my area code. And then here you're going to type in all the numbers without dashes. I'm going to pick a gender and a birthday here. And then ethnicity. I'm going to pick one of these or both of these, pick an ethnicity. Um, and then down here, you can go ahead and pick a race. Oh, it's not letting me move on because the social security number is not correct. So, just for the sake of being able to move past this. Um, up here, it says, if you do not have a social security number, you can enter all ones only do this. If you legitimately do not have a social security number. If you put ones in here and you do have a social security number, it's going to cause problems. Next is our school. So if you attend um, a, a high school that is in Tennessee, uh, you will be able to look up your high school code here. So we're gonna click look up high school code, select the state that you live in, and then click list cities and selected state. So all the cities in Tennessee are gonna pop up here. So whatever city your high school is in, it could be Chattanooga, it could be Udawa, it could be Kimball. Uh, you're going to pick that city and all the high schools in your city will pop up here. So for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to choose Howard. And then I'm going to click copy selected high school information to daddy, data entry form. And the high school information will appear here. That's your high school code that will appear there. Now we're going to put on our graduation date. Most of us don't know our graduation date yet, so we're just going to pick a day that might be close to graduation, but we're going to make sure the year is correct. It's important to not put your birthday here and to put your graduation date here. This next field is additional information. If you are a male and you're turning 18 before classes begin in August, classes begin on August 16th, then you'll need to say yes, that you are a male and you have, and that you're going to register with a selective service. This is a selective service website. Um, you can click that and it'll click off in another page so that you can come back and register. And then if you're in 11th and or 12th grade, you'll need to do the dual enrollment grant. So you can go ahead and click this and it'll open in a new tab. And this will be here and you can fill out your dual enrollment grant. We'll do a separate video on that. So yes. And then we want to provide an email address. And a phone number. For a parent. It's parent or guardian email and phone number here. Next, these are the acknowledgements. This is um, very important for us to know uh, that you um, have met the requirements to do dual enrollment. So 
Um, here are is some information about vaccines. If you're in a public high school, you've probably had these vaccines, so you probably know this information already. And then here are the program guidelines to participate. So it's important that you know that dual enrollment students have to abide by the rules of high school and the college. That if you are 18 years or older, you must submit a driver's license. And that dual enrollment courses are not different than regular college courses, and they're geared towards students that students that are mature and responsible. These courses will go on your college transcript as well as your high school transcript, and the courses may differ from that of the college. The grading scale may differ from that of the college. It's important that you know that you must officially withdraw from any course if you decide not to complete. If you do not withdraw within the appropriate time period, you could end up with an F. And full refunds are not guaranteed after classes begin. Dual enrollment students are responsible for fulfilling all course requirements. Dual enrollment students are responsible for doing the dual enrollment grant if they qualify or paying the remaining tuition and fees. We will provide grades and attendance and other academic information to your high school as a part of this agreement. Chattanooga State will obtain approval from your high school before we register you into dual enrollment classes. Also, the Office of Disability Services at Chattanooga State will coordinate with the high school special ed department for any student that's taking a class um, who may have special education needs. Lastly, Chattanooga State must obtain permission from your parent or guardian before you are registered. By clicking continue, you certify that you've read the information about the vaccine and that you've read the information about the dual enrollment program guidelines. As you can see, now all the red check marks are beside these items. Now I'm going to click application is complete. And then on the other end, after you click application is complete, you'll certify that all the information is correct. I'm not going to click that because I don't want to actually apply for dual enrollment as Joe Tiger, but that is um, the end of the application and you are done. You will get an email in two to four days uh, with more further directions on what is next. Thank you and feel free to contact us if you have any trouble at 697-4427 or you can also you go to our virtual office and there's a live chat here in our virtual office that you can um, use to get more information.